every time we have a singer here, the first thing we do is actually test with them which mic sounds best before actually recording. So yeah, today it's time to talk about this microphone. I've been testing this in the past three, four weeks. Recorded a bunch of vocals for my new album. And I have to say, I'm, I'm kind of impressed because this microphone is different than any other kind of microphone because it's being supported by software. They call it a modeling microphone. In a nutshell, it, it emulates with the help of software a bunch of old, vintage, very, very, very expensive microphones you might never ever get your hands on because they're like very expensive and only a few of these units are still around. So for a fraction of the price, you, you basically get very, very close to it. And there's one thing about it that I absolutely love because it's speeding up your working process in a way I, I didn't even think of. But let's maybe first start with actually showing you the software because it's, it's a big part of this mic without the software. It doesn't make any sense. I opened one of my very recent recording sessions for the album in Logic, just the vocals. I won't be able to play you a whole lot of the vocals because it's still top secret, but I looped a small part, opened up the, the plugin that comes with the Edge solo, and just go through a couple of the, the sound characteristics, the different mics that are modeled in the software. Oh, fly in tonight. 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 Just as a disclaimer, if you're listening to this on your phone, laptop speakers, you of course won't hear any difference. You need headphones for this or a good pair of speakers in a treated room to actually hear the difference. And yeah, it's not. It's not doing a lot, it's not a huge change. It's like definitely just trying to emulate the characteristic of the microphone. The plugin itself, there's not much to explain. You just select the different mics. Edge Solo is the clean sound straight from the mic. And then um, of course they weren't allowed to, to use the real brand names, but I'm pretty sure with the picture and the name, you will be able to figure it out. Just being able by, by a click to kind of change the mic it was recorded with is, is so huge. You can also, once you already recorded it, change it. It's, it's, it's a big difference because, um, let me actually show you, like that's, that's usually what's going on when we record here in the vocal booth. So we got a small selection of mics here in the vocal booth and every time we have a singer here, the first thing we do is actually test with them which mic sounds best before actually recording. And the problems are obvious. I mean, it, it kills a lot of time. It ruins the vibe. You have them to listen to what you recorded. And just like the, the singer standing differently in front of the mic might actually already change it. And having the software that just by clicking, I mean, you can immediately hear the differences and select the mic that actually fits the best to the singer without having any delay in between, without having any kind of problem, without the singer standing there differently, singing it differently. It's like every time the same going through this kind of processing. So yeah, this definitely makes our work here in the studio a lot faster, a lot easier. It's also better for the singer. So for the workflow, I absolutely love that mic. But there are also some, some small things that I don't like that I, that I have to address. The biggest problem is here on the back of my computer. It's this little iLog USB stick. 
I thought it's a thing of the past, but the software doesn't run without it, which is really unfortunate because as you've seen with two studios, we have uh, multiple people working with the microphones. So every time we need to make sure that this is plugged in in the computer that is actually using it, plus it's USB, so not USB-C, the MacBooks, you know the situation. I mean, I get that they need to protect their software, but I think like the online iLock thing would have been enough, especially because this is a product where you actually need the mic to make it work, so it's already protected by you actually having to buy the mic. And number two is actually the software. I mean, I, in a professional sense, I don't have a problem with it. It, it, it looks good. I, I like um, the pictures of the microphones. You immediately know which one they, they actually mean. Also, the names taking the cities, it's good, perfect. But I would love to have some feedback on the plugin. I would actually love to, to have maybe some LEDs whenever audio is going through it. Maybe the mic lighting up or just having a glow on it or a red dot, just something that I know that it's actually on the right channel and that the sound is actually going through it. Besides the dongle situation, which also limits it like in a mobile setup, I mean, it's, it's perfect because you can take it everywhere and it's just one mic instead of multiple mics. But the dongle again makes this a bit harder and the software issue, I think it's an easy fix with an update and it's not really an issue, it's more like cosmetic. And I don't know, I like, I like to have like this this feedback that it's actually running and working. Overall, a great product. I, I yeah, absolutely like it. And you save a ton of money. So if you're interested to, to check it out, I will link it down below in the description. And yeah, keep you updated with the album probably tomorrow. Yeah, giving you a little sneak peek kind of into two or three of the songs because I'm, I'm stuck at the moment with um, drops. And I actually need your help to listen to these kind of drops and let me know which one you prefer. Because I'm, yeah, just stuck overthinking things a little. But yeah, anyways, see you tomorrow again, back here in the studio making music. Yeah.